And today we're going to talk about the triangle angle theorem. So we're going to be talking about angles. So let's start with a triangle. We can do any kind of triangle. It can be a right triangle. How do I know it's a right triangle? When you see the little 90 degree box in the corner, if you don't know that, that box means this one right here is always 90 degrees. Are you with me? Yeah. All right, so we'll start off with a right triangle. How many degrees do all three corners of a triangle have to add up? I hear 180. Any others? 90. Well, I got 90 right here. And I got two more, so doesn't it have to be bigger than 90? Okay. And it is 180. So put that in your notes. <clears throat> All three angles of a triangle. I'm going to put that for triangle. Must add up to 180. Okay, that's good information to know. Because today they're going to ask you maybe to find the angles for each corner of the triangle. So let's say I put 40 over here. And we know that that one's 90. How could I find the third side or the third angle of this triangle? Lena. Uh, you add 90, 40, then subtract the Good. Add these two together to see how much they add up to. What's 90 plus 40? 130. 130. And then what do we do? Good. Didn't we say that all three have to add up to 180? So let's do 180 minus 130. And that will tell me how much is in that third corner. How much? 50 degrees. Questions so far? There may be one or two that easy on the homework. Okay, the rest of them may look something like this. What if we had an equilateral triangle? <coughs> That's all they give me is 2x in each corner. Mm -hmm. Three plus eight x two, then I think you're going to make sure you have 6x. Yeah. And then you put equals 180. Y'all agree with what she's saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. So let's do 2x plus 2x plus 2x. Doesn't that add up to 6x's? Mm -hmm. Yes. And don't all three have to be equal 180? Mm -hmm. Well, that's easy. What do we do? Divide, Divide by what? 6. And what is x? 30. 30. So is each corner of my triangle 30? No. Yes. So what's 30 plus 30 plus 30? That ain't 180. So it ain't 30. What does it say this corner is? 2 times x. What is x? So what is this corner? 60 degrees. What's this corner? What's this corner? Okay, don't fall for the trick that this is your answer. Are you with me? A lot of kids do that and they get it wrong. This will help you find the answer. You're going to do 2 times x. x is 30, so 2 times 30 is 60. All right, let's do another one. Let's do 3x plus 20. Let's do... Um, yeah, 7x plus 20, and let's do 40. So here are my three angles in this triangle. Somebody tell me what we need to do to find all three angles. You've helped me, you've helped me. Somebody know. Haley, what could we do? And what do we add it to? Huh? 
Help her out, somebody. You've already helped me. Put your hands down. To the senator? Sure. Plus? 30? No. Plus 20. And then, don't we have to add all three angles together? Mm -hmm. Well, this angle is 3x plus 20. This angle is 7x plus 20, so we're going to add that to that. And then this angle is 40, so we're going to add all that together. And what does it have to equal? 180. So now we've got a big, long, fat equation. What can we combine? We need to combine some stuff here. Caden, what do we need to combine? 3x and 7x. Sure. What's 3x plus 7x? 10x. 10 x's. All right. Is there anything else to combine? Lizzie? Um, 20, 20, and 40. Good. The 20, the 20, and the 40 are all numbers. We can combine those. What's 20 plus 20? 40 plus another 40. 80. Good. And that equals 180. All right, sweet. Now let's solve it. Alina, what would you do next? Times the 80 and the 10. Try that again. We're not multiplying yet or dividing. Well, add, them. add what? 80 and 10. 10 has an X. 80 doesn't have an X. You can't add things that are different. Try again. You need to get rid of something. We're trying to get X by itself. What do we get rid of? The 10 or the 80 first? The 10. The 80. Y'all agree with that? No. Yeah. What do we get rid of? The 80. Yeah. How do I get rid of plus 80? You subtract it. Yeah. All right. So now we got 10X equals what? 100? <laughs> All right. What's X? So Leah, what do we do? Yes, ma'am. Divide by 10. And what is X? 10. 10. You'll all agree X is 10. Is 10 my answer? No. no. Don't fall for that trick. All right. So let's find this answer up here. What do we do with the X? Plug in 10. What's 3 times 10? 30. 30 plus 20? 50. This angle up here is 50 degrees. Let's plug in 10 here. What's 7 times 10? 70. What's 70 plus 20? 90. This angle over here. Ooh. My picture doesn't look appropriate, but that's okay. That's 90 degrees. And then what's this angle over here? 40. So now we got all three angles. Any questions so far? All right. Let's try one more. Most of the problems, you're going to have to set up the equation and make it equal to 1. find this all three angles in here well we don't know what this one is I can't add these three together until I know what number is here somebody tell me how to figure out what number is right here Josiah subtract 150 from 180 how do you know that because the angles must equal 180 because it makes a Good. Y'all remember that from like two days ago? Don't straight lines make 180 degrees? So this angle here plus this angle here make this straight line right here. Are y'all with it? So Josiah says subtract that from 180. And that will tell us how much is here. How much is there? 30. 30. So now what can we do? Add the three together because we got this one, this one, and this one. So we got 2x plus 30 plus 30 equals what? 180. What's 30 plus 30? 60. So we got 2x plus 60 equals 180. And then what would you do next, Marcelo? Subtract 
Me too. So subtract 60, you get 2x equals 120. And then how do we finish it, Josie? You divide 2 times 2, 2 times 1 is 20. Divide by 2, and we get x equals what? Um, 2. 120 divided by 2. Oh, 60. 60. Is that my answer? No. 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 Plug it in. What's 2 times 60? 120 degrees. So now I have found all three angles inside the triangle. We got 120 for one of them. We got 30 on one, 30 on the other. And keep in mind, you may see that on the homework. If it's a straight line, this one plus this one have to add up to 180 degrees here. These three also have to add up to 180. All right, questions?